Let's talk about NPN and PNP. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my draw feature. Okay, and let's let's just show you how we wire this up. Um, typically, in in a wiring setup, here's my positive 24, and please excuse my wonderful drawing, but this will show you, and I'll show you the practicality in a second. So positive 24 volt VDC is because I'm working 24 volts, and over here is my negative. Okay. A negative or zero VDC or whatever you want to call it. Okay. And typically what we would do, and when I'm going to change colors so you can actually see, and here's um, what's going on. But what, what NPN and PNP are is a transistor inside of a sensor that tells me how to wire it. I and mean, depending on what the wiring configuration is, one will say, hey, when I switch, I divert up to a path to ground. Or when I switch, I'm diverting 24 volts to something else. So that's why it's important to know how you set it up because depending on how you set up your load, it may not work if it's at the same potential difference based upon how you wire it. It makes sense more in a second. But let me show you a basic setup. And most of the time, a three wire sensor is gonna come with a couple, uh, two different colors, brown and blue. Brown is not ground is how I remember it. And so I'm gonna draw a brown wire here and I'm gonna draw another brown wire way over here and this will make sense in a second, okay? I'm going to also then draw a big box here, and this will be my my sensor. Okay, this will be my sensor. We'll just do it that way. That's my sensor. And I'm going to draw a box over here and call that load. Now, that could be your PLC input. That could be um, a relay, which I'll demonstrate in a second. But let's do it this way, and I'm going to just do it two different ways because either the load goes before my sensor or after my sensor. So I'll say this is my load. And I might need to fix something. Bring in some, let me just bring in my blue wire. Because typically the brown wire is a positive and the blue wire is a negative. Oh no, I did that right. So good, go me. Um, sorry. So let me, and then here's my sensor. Let me just do my sensor like this. And I'm not gonna do a, an actual sensor sensor. Let's just show it like this and then we'll go from there, okay? So either the, the load will come before the sensor or load will come after the sensor. Makes sense, pretty straightforward. And in each case, my sensor needs to get power because it's either a photo eye that needs to generate power or a, a, um, a, um, like an inductive sensor capacitor that needs to create a inductive field or a capacitive field. So in this case, a blue wire is going to my negative. So this is my sensor. And let me just write that in red. Uh, let me write that in red, so sensor. And that could be photo eye, sensor. Don't make fun of my spelling because I ran out of room. Sensor. All right. And what we need then is to figure out what do we do with the signal wire. And it can go in either of these configurations, it could go one or two ways. So I'm going to use a black wire right here. And I could go to a positive terminal of my load. So it could be my solenoid, it could be my relay. You know, a positive terminal there. And just for the sake of argument, I'm just gonna keep that as black here to the negative side of the load, because that goes there. And so when this sensor becomes high or true, power will, you know, first of all, when it's not activated, power will go through here and go straight to ground, everything's hunky-dory. But when the sensor trips, so the photo eye sees the light beam, um, the inductive sensor, you know, gets interrupted, then that will send a 24 volt signal to the load. And once that happens, what ha the load will turn on, whether that be the relay or in the PLC input. Okay, so that's how you would set that. That that's one possible way of doing the setup. The other possible way is supplying a 24 volt signal to the positive end of the load, and then tying it into the sensor so that when the sensor trips, it's completing the ground. So either it's going to complete the positive side of the circuit or it's going to complete the negative side of the circuit. Those are the only two options. So, and here are both of those, okay? So this is my positive side of my load. This is my negative side of the load. One, when the sensor is, when the sensor is off, I'm going to go over here. If the sensor is off and I take my little handy dandy uh, meter, if the sensor is off and this is not on, if I read a voltage from here to ground, so let me draw in a little bit of a voltmeter. 
Um, so here, you know, so here's my meter. So meter. And if I measure from here to, to, you know, ground and just say hypothetical neutral, when the sensor is off here, that's going to be zero volts. DC. When the sensor is on, it's going to be 24 volts. VDC. In this capacity, in this setup. If I'm just looking at this, measuring from that load wire or the signal wire to ground, because honestly, that's all we care about. Because if I measure 24 volts from from the positive side to the negative side, it's always gonna be 24 volts if it's got a signal. If it doesn't have 24 volts, then we have an open or short somewhere that's causing issues. Probably an open, um, or you know, we're, we're not getting power to the sensor. But if I'm checking to see if this is, if I see it change states and the load's not kicking on or off, and I'll show you a demonstration of that in a second. You know, th then I measure, and if it's zero, and that, and then it trips on, that, and, and if it on, it sends a twenty-four volt signal. You know, that's the way it should be. And if that's the case, this is a PNP sensor. PNP, oi, it's dynamite. Um, a PNP sensor, or you might hear it called a sourcing sensor. And. A sourcing sensor, okay? PNP or sourcing sensor, okay? And the load here will be considered a sinking load, which, especially if it's a PLC input card, okay? Sinking, which means then down here, this will be a sourcing load. And it will, I'll explain that more in a second. A sourcing load and a sinking sensor. And you might hear this called NPN, okay? And if we look at when the signal is off, when the, when the sensor is off and on, we'll see an opposite state. So let me get back to green. And so if I measure the signal wire with a meter to a known zero reference, okay, like ground, at this point, when it's off, I should see a 24 volt, 24 volt signal. Okay, because if this signal, if this sensor is not tripped, it's not going to send this to ground. So it's kind of acting as like a, an electrical dam, just kind of stops right there. Um, and but when it's on, then I will see it as a as zero volt, because what that sensor is doing is completing the ground. And so that's how the load will go. You know, so this is basically acting as an open ground. And you can see the difference. Well, how do you, and one little thing I want to point out is how do you remember which is work, which, which is which, which uh, sinking or sourcing or PNP, uh, NPN, count the ends. If it's got one N, then it's the sourcing signal. If it's got two ends, then it's NPN. So this only works in English, so I apologize, but that's how I remember. NPN is syncing, PNP is sourcing, because I count the ends. And if I need, if I have, a, if I have a, uh, an input card or a load expecting a positive value, then I need to set, set up a sourcing configuration. Um, if I'm expecting a uh, uh, this to be to, to when it trips to complete the ground, then I'm expecting a, a syncing configuration. So I'm a, so this is how we set up a basic three wire sensor. So what does this look practically? You can see right here the the positive the black wire. And I'll keep playing and I'll try to slow it down. You can see the black wire right there and the positive side going into that going into the gray. You know you can trace it back to the gray cable. Okay, you can see it in the positive right there going back to the gray with the the blue is the ground going back to the negative terminal where the Brown wire is a positive terminal, so that's powering a relay. Um, and, and this is my load. The relay is my load. You can see it going back to the positive relay. And if I trace that back, it's going back to a photo eye. And you can see as I tr trigger the photo eye, the load triggers. And you can see in two different aspects, and I'm going to put it right back to one another, that when this little indicator light is on, the load is on because it's sending the signal. So oftentimes the sensors, there's an indicator light saying it's tripped or not. 
So if this is tripped and this isn't going on, you probably have an open circuit between the, the, the load and the sensor. And you can see that firsthand in a second. As I go up, you can see both lights turn on at the same time. That light and that light turns on at the same time. This is an indicator on the relay saying that, there's, that it's been tricked. And because the relay is just an inductive load, it sends a signal through, it closes down, that's another lecture, okay? So, and you can see, see that as I trip that photo eye, that's wired for PNP, that's what happens. But I also have a photo eye wired to NPN. And you'll see that the black wire lines up on the, on the other end. Now, in this case, the, the, you know, the, typically read and check documents, because in this case, the blue is the positive and the, and the brown is the negative, long story. But the, just look at the signal wire. I have a positive going into one side. I have the signal wire on the back end. And you can see, and you can see the difference. So this one over here, or this one over here is, is PNP. This one over here is NPN in a practical nature. And you can see the, you can follow the black cable. And I'm just me pointing out the positive versus the negative feed. The black cable goes to the other photo eye. And, and once again, if you can see the indicator, if I trigger the indicator, it trips the, trips the photo eye, even though the wiring is different. So I have this identical, I have identical relays but two different sensors based upon how they're configured. So that is how we wire up NPN versus PNP in practical nature. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Have a good day.